Hi friends, welcome back to this session on uh, information and uh, network security. We are uh, looking into the classical cipher techniques. The last session we have seen simple substitution cipher technique and uh, we found that uh, logically it is almost impossible to decipher it but using the human knowledge it is indeed possible to decipher easily so to make it a more complicated we get into another one wherein instead of uh, using the text as a one dimensional data we convert the text into multi dimensional data maybe a two dimensional matrix or any n dimensional uh, tensor and then the rows columns of each one can be transposed and by doing this the positions of each character are shifted in a too complicated way and hence becomes too difficult for deciphering them so that's uh, what we call transposition cipher and uh, in this the classical method was double transposition which means uh, we are converting the data first into a two dimensional matrix and then rows are transposed and then columns are transposed in a known way in this way the whole uh, text is uh, converted into cipher text so let's uh, jump into it and see what exactly it means so we have a data which uh, we converted into a two dimensional matrix so the text was at at dawn a t t a c k at d a w n dawn and uh, this is made up of 12 characters and uh, this putting these 12 characters in one row they are converted into a two dimensional matrix with uh, three rows and four columns and they are uh, written uh, row by row and that's what the matrix first looks like that and then we make the changes in the row the first row a T T A goes to the third row. So the first row it goes to third row. Second row remains in the second row, and third row goes to the first row. So third row D A W N goes to the first row. So D A W N. Now we can see that uh, the two matrices are totally different now. But still, row-wise, if you check it, we can make out that uh, some way. We can move up and down, then we can make out the uh, original text, but we don't stop here. We get into the second uh, modification where the columns are also changed. In this, the first column goes to the third place. So, first column was DCA, goes to the third column DCA, and second column ATK remains at the second column and third column WAT goes to the fourth column WAT and the fourth column NTA goes to first column NTA. So we started with this, modified the rows, then modified the columns and after this if we read then what we read is NADW, NADW, TK, CA, AT, AT. So, attack at down now looks like n a d w t k c a a t a t so from this it uh, becomes quite difficult to get back to this only if we know the key the key is the first rows are changed 1 2 3 becomes 3 2 1 and then the columns are changed 1 2 3 4 becomes 3 2 4 1 and we get this and then we get this one if we want to decipher it we have to return back the same order so 
this n a d w n a d w t k c a t k c a a t a t a t a t and then third column should come to the first column so the third column will come to the first column then second column will come so remain in the second column fourth column comes to the third column fourth column comes to third column and the first column goes to the fourth column the first column goes to the first column goes to the fourth column and then back third row becomes first row the third row becomes first row second row remains second row and the the first row goes to the third row the first row goes to third row and when we read this a t t a c k a t d a w f the original uh, message we get it so let's check with our another example so we have a uh, plain text hello friends and uh, this is made up of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 characters so we can convert these 12 characters into a matrix or maybe 3 by 4 or 4 by 3 or 6 by 2 or 2 by 6 many options are there so let me use a uh, four rows three columns matrix so 4 by 3 matrix makes 12 characters so h e l l o h e l l o friends f r i e n d s so that's how we have written this and then the key is row 1 goes to row 2 row 2 goes to row 4 row 3 goes to row 1 and row 4 goes to row 3 so row 1 goes to row 2 H E L row one is in row two, and row two L O F goes to row four. L O F goes to row four, and row three R I E goes to row one. R I E comes in row one, and finally row four goes to row three. N D S goes to row three. N D S. So after this, we make the Uh, column changes column 1 goes to column 3 column 2 goes to column 1 and column 3 goes to column 2 and that's what it is column 1 r h n i r h n l goes to column 3 r h n l goes to column 3 column 2 i e d o i e d o goes to column 1 and finally column 3 e l s f goes to column 2 e l s f So now, if we read this, it is I E R E L H D S L D F L, and that's what we have. I E R E L H D S N D F L. So, hello friends. Now looks like this, and uh, that's the encryption letter. And to decrypt it. Just we back the uh, column one now goes back to column two, column two goes to column three, and column three goes to column one. So we get this matrix, and then the rows are uh, transposed in the reverse way. R one goes to R three, R two goes to R one, and R three goes to R four. and r4 goes to r2 r4 goes to r2 and finally if you read it h e l l o hello friends so that's uh, what uh, we have as a double transposition cipher this can be extended to triple transposition cipher if we convert the text into a 3d it is of 3d tensor or in general we can complicate this as much as possible and for a bigger text it is uh, better to use a high dimensional uh, thing but as far as uh, the classical cipher technique is concerned the second one was double transposition cipher where uh, one dimensional text is converted into two dimensional matrix and then rows are uh, changed and then columns are changed and uh, through that we get a 
cipher text and uh, the reverse changes when made we get the original back so that's it uh, for now that's our second uh, method of uh, classical uh, ciphering so if you like this please do hit the like button please subscribe to the channel do share with your friends hit the bell icon to get notifications when the next uh, videos are uploaded and please do comment what you feel about this what extra you need and all that so that's it for now thank you